One of the amazing things about creating home automations and Home Assistant is that you can have a custom message played across any connected speaker in your home. For example, you could broadcast an announcement that someone is at the front door, that the washing machine is done, play a joke on other people in your home, or just about anything else that you can imagine. But there are at least three problems with text-to-speech or TTS announcements. First, having the voice of someone not in your household just start speaking out of nowhere can be really jarring. I can vividly recall our son running for us and crying when a voice he didn't recognize suddenly started telling him, it's time to take out the trash. Second, if you try to add in your own custom sound effect prior to the voice speaking, you are left with an annoying delay. And third, most TTS voices sound stilted and not very natural. I'm going to show you how to solve all of these issues and create home automation announcements and home assistant that play a seamless audible chime prior to speaking and that speak with more natural sounding voices. At the end, I'll show how to get started as fast as possible. If you're new here, my name is Michael Lane and this channel is all about how tech can make you more productive, especially through home automation with new videos every week. This solution is made possible by two Home Assistant integrations, Chime TTS and Eleven Labs. Chime TTS allows you to add custom sound effects and Eleven Labs offers high quality, natural sounding TTS voices. I'll cover what each is, how they work, how to set them up, and how to use them in your Home Assistant automations. Let's start with Chime TTS. Chime TTS is a custom component for Home Assistant that combines TTS audio and sound effects into one seamless audio message for playback in a single action. This means you can have a sound effect play before an announcement broadcasts over your smart speakers without any lag and without surprising anyone in the home. Any media currently playing will have its volume lowered during the announcement and then resumed to normal volume once the announcement finishes. You can configure media player volume, TTS speed and pitch, delays, and more using the Chime TTS integration. Here's what the same announcement sounds like without Chime TTS and with Chime TTS. The washing machine is done. The washing machine is done. My family and I find it much less shocking and more pleasant when a sound effect plays first before a voice suddenly starts talking to us out of thin air. To set up Chime TTS and Home Assistant, you'll need to add a custom component in Hacks and then install the integration, both of which are quick to do. I'll leave links to everything I show in the video description. Visit the Chime TTS installation page and click Open Hacks Repository on My Home Assistant. When prompted, click Add, then click Download. After the download completes, restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant has restarted, go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, search for Chime TTS, click OK to set up, and click Finish. From the integration, there are many configuration options. At a minimum, you will need at least one TTS platform configured in Home Assistant, such as Amazon Polly, Google Translate Text-to-Speech, Home Assistant Cloud, or others. If you're not sure which TTS platform to get started with, I started out with Google Translate Text-to-Speech since it was free and easy to use. I've since started using Eleven Labs, which I'll cover later in this video. For anyone looking to play announcements from Amazon Echo devices using Alexa Media Player, the MP3 files must be publicly accessible from outside your local network. This means you'll need to save audio files in the public-facing www directory. I'll leave a link to more documentation on this in case you get stuck. But I'll show you how I'm saving custom sound effects in my Home Assistant. Within my config, I have a www folder, and within that, I create a folder called Custom Audio, where I save the sound effect that I want to play before an announcement begins. The particular sound effect that I'm using is just one that I grabbed off the internet, but you can use any MP3 sound effect that you'd like. I point to the path of this MP3 file from the Chime TTS configuration under Folder Path for Custom Chime Audio Files. You can also see the folder path that I'm using for the other options if you'd like to replicate my same setup. Remember to click Submit after making any changes. 
Before I continue, I want to briefly share a cool product that I use from today's sponsor, Zeus. If you're interested in tracking the indoor or outdoor temperature and humidity, you can use the Zeus ZSE55 Temperature Humidity Excess Sensor. The sensor is battery operated and has a small, lightweight, and discreet design without any obnoxious logos or branding. You can tuck it away on a shelf or install it outdoors with a dedicated bracket. There are tons of ways to use a sensor like this. You can create an automation to adjust the thermostat based on the temperature in a certain room, or to turn on a ceiling fan when the room's temperature exceeds a certain level. You could also start or stop a connected humidifier or a bathroom exhaust fan based on the indoor humidity level. Or you can just use it to get insight into the comfort of your home. This may be especially helpful during colder months when humidity levels tend to drop, which can lead to dry skin. Just know that it is not designed to monitor the temperature of a refrigerator or freezer. See the link in the description if you'd like to check it out, and thanks to Zeus for supporting the channel. Now, you could just stop there. Chime TTS will allow you to seamlessly play a custom sound effect prior to audio announcements over the media players and home assistant. I've been using it for ages and it works great. But if you also would like your announcements to use more natural sounding voices, then you may want to use Eleven Labs as your text-to-speech platform and home assistant. Eleven Labs is free to get started with, allowing you to use 10,000 credits per month, which is equivalent to about 10 minutes of audio. If you're just using this for periodic and brief home automation announcements like I am, the free tier should be sufficient, and that's what I'm using. With the free tier, you can generate speech in 29 languages using thousands of unique voices. You can create custom synthetic voices and generate sound effects. Just know that the Eleven Labs integration does require an internet connection. If you're not a fan of that, you can just use the approach I showed earlier for Chime TTS. To understand how much more natural sounding the Eleven Labs voices are, I'll play the same message multiple times, first using Google Translate Text-to-Speech and then using various Eleven Labs voices. The washing machine is done. The washing machine is done. The washing machine is done. Thankfully, there is a fully supported integration for Eleven Labs and Home Assistant. To set this up, you'll need to first register for an Eleven Labs account. As mentioned, this is free to do. Once registered, go to My Account, API Keys, Create API Key, give it a name like Home Assistant, copy the key to your clipboard. In Home Assistant, go to Settings, Device and Services, Add Integration, search for Eleven Labs, paste the API key that you copied earlier, and click Submit. To set your preferred voice, open the Eleven Labs integration in Home Assistant and click Configure. Choose any of the voices you'd like from the drop-down menu and click Submit. To tie it all together, you'll want to tell Chime TTS to use Eleven Labs as your preferred text-to-speech platform, which is really easy to do. Just open the Chime TTS integration in Home Assistant, click Configure, and choose TTS.11labs under Default TTS Platform and click Submit at the bottom. That's it. Now any of your home automations using a Chime TTS announcement will play the announcement using your preferred 11 Labs voice, even on automations that you previously created using Chime TTS. To test that Chime TTS and 11 Labs are working as expected, open Developer Tools and go to Actions. Search for Chime TTS Say in the Actions dropdown and select it. Choose the media player that you want to play the announcement on, and input the custom audio file that you want to play. Then. Enter a message that will be played over the media player. I also suggest enabling Announce, which reduces the sound of any media currently playing so that you can hear the announcement. Depending on your type of media players, you may want to play with some of the other settings, such as Join and Unjoin players and Cache. What I've shown is what works for me and the Sonos speakers in our home. Once you have it configured as you like, click Perform Action, and you should hopefully hear the message play over the targeted media players. I use announcements in many home automations, such as announcing when someone rings the doorbell or the washing machine or dryer complete their cycles, when it's time to pick up the kids from school or time to take out the trash 
or even if someone left the refrigerator door open by mistake. I'll leave a link to a video I made on home automation ideas that use different types of notifications like this if you want to check it out. For demonstration purposes, I'll show how I'm using this announcement to tell us when the washing machine is done. The core part of this automation checks the real-time energy consumption of our washing machine using a smart plug. And when the energy usage drops below a certain threshold, that means the washer completed its cycle and sends an alert to our phones. If you want to know about how I set that up, I'll leave a link to a video on it. Right now, we're interested in the announcement portion, which announces across the Sonos speakers on each floor of our home that the washing machine is done. Adding an audio alert before an announcement plays may not sound like much, but it's one of those big quality of life improvements for me and my family. And adding natural sounding voices made the announcements even better. I use a lot of announcements in home automations, and while this doesn't change their basic functionality, it does make them more enjoyable for everyone in the home. And if everyone in the home is enjoying your home automations, I think you're doing pretty well. And a big thanks to the developers who made these integrations possible. What do you think? Is this something you want to use in your home automations? Let me know. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. It makes a huge difference. You'll find links below for anything I covered. If you want to get additional value and discounts on my Smart Home merch, consider becoming a channel member. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. I don't see anything wrong with my voice. Are you serious? Do you even hear yourself? Or better yet, do you hear how much better I sound? My beep isn't with you. It's with Michael. I helped him for so long. And just like that, he dumps me. I mean, can you blame him?